Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, Rosie Cooks. I'm gonna make a Southwestern chicken pot pie. I have everything laid out. Let me show you what I'm gonna put in it. So for this recipe, you're gonna need a 15 ounce can of black beans, some corn, sour cream, a little bit of water. I'm gonna use some canola spray, some nonstick spray. Right here I have a red bell pepper. I'm gonna use a jalapeno. I'm going to take out the seeds. I'm only gonna use the green part. I don't want the heat to overwhelm this recipe, but uh, you could use the seeds if you really want to. I'm gonna use a little bit of butter, some garlic. Right here I have salt, pepper, cumin, oregano, and chili powder. I'm gonna use half of an onion, a little bit of all-purpose flour, some oil, two cups of shredded chicken, and some pie crust. Let's put this together. Okay, so everything's been prepped. I rinsed and opened my cans of corn and uh, beans. I chopped up my jalapeno and I took out the seeds. And here's my red pepper, I chopped it up. My onion has been chopped. We're ready to put this together. So right here I have a large skillet. I'm gonna add my oil. Let that heat up for a few. Okay, so now I'm gonna add my onion. And I'm gonna cook my onion. I'm gonna add my bell pepper. And my jalapeno. I'm gonna cook all this for about four minutes until everything gets softened. Look at how pretty that color is. Love it. So it's been four minutes. Now I'm gonna add my garlic. And I'm gonna cook that up for about a minute. Okay, just let it all cook up for another minute. So now my onion and bell pepper mixture, they're nice and soft. So now I'm gonna add my flour. I'm gonna mix that together. Okay, so we got the flour mixed in here. Now I'm gonna add my black beans and my corn. And I'm gonna mix this, mix this in. So now I'm gonna add my sour cream My water, I'm going to mix this together and then I'm going to add my seasonings and my chicken. I'm going to add my seasoning and my chicken. Let's get this all combined. So right now, I'm just letting this all combine. I'm mixing it up. And this is a good time to take out your pie crust from the refrigerator. You have to let those we come to room temperature for about 15 minutes just so that they thaw out a little bit. They're just uh, easier to work with at that point. So I'm just going to let this combine and mix for a little bit. So I'm just combining this, I'm mixing it until it thickens. That flour acts as a thickener and you can see how it's all mixing together. Very, very nice. So here we go. I'm gonna turn off the heat on this. I'm just gonna let you guys know, I just tasted this. 
This is really a good filling. This is the inside of my pie. It has a really good flavor. If you like it really spicy, I suppose you can leave the seeds of that jalapeno. But it does have a little bit of a kick without the seeds. I think it's really, really flavorful. Okay, so I'm going to wait till my pie crust thaw out for 15 minutes. And then we'll go to the next step. So let me show you my pan. This is my pie tin, my favorite pie tin that I have. Let me show you how big it is. It's 11 rim to rim, and inside here it's 10. So it's a pretty good size. Now supposedly these are nine inch, nine inch uh, pie crust. But look how big they are. They're kind of long. They're bigger than the 9 inch. Now you see those, uh, those little aluminum pie tins that you can find in a market. They look a lot smaller than this. And they say that they're 9 inch. Um, and then I've seen people making pies and they end up cutting the edges. So, I don't know. If you can find a bigger or a deep pie tin... I think it'll work out better. Mine is perfect for anything I use with these, uh, with these pie crusts. And these pie crusts, you do have to let them kind of cool off a little bit from when you have them in the refrigerator or freezer. You have to let them come to room temperature a little bit. So I'm waiting 15 minutes before I start using this and trying to fold it out. So here's one of my pie crusts. I sprayed the bottom of my pan with a nonstick cooking spray and then I laid it out. You have to unfold these very carefully, okay? Just, you don't want them to break. So you just unfold them nice and carefully after the 15 minutes of leaving them to thaw, okay? So now I'm going to put all my filling inside my pie. So here's my pie and I've added the filling. Now I'm going to put the second pie crust on top. As I started adding the filling, I started kind of making it more towards the center because I don't want it to go over the edges. So I'm going to add my second pie crust. Okay, so now as the recipe goes, I'm supposed to kind of tuck these in and con connect the edges. So I'm going to try to do that as best I can, folding them over and kind of pressing them so that there's some kind of a seal in here. This is so exciting. Look how gorgeous that is. Okay, so now I'm going to I have some melted butter and I'm going to Put some melted butter. I'm going to brush it all over the top so that it can, this is going to help it make a nice golden brown. I have a 425 degree oven that's been preheated and it's waiting. Okay, so putting all this nice butter on top. Now we're going to put some slits. So that it looks like a real pie. Give it some ventilation. Oh my goodness, look how good that looks. That is so exciting. Okay, so now we're going to put it in our oven that's nice and hot for 30 minutes until it gets a nice golden brown. Okay, fresh out of the oven, nice and hot. I don't want to cut into it just yet. I want to get a nice piece out so that I could show you guys what it looks like. I'm very excited about this. Look how beautiful. Okay, you guys, look at the inside of this pie. It is so tasty. I can't wait. I've been tasting it little bits here and there, but I'm going to dig in right now. This came out so good. Okay, so now I'm going to dig in. And here's my pie piece. So I'm going to give it a good, I'm going to give it the taste test. 
Now I was little sneaking little pieces here and there. The inside filling is very tasty. Mmm. With the crust, <clears throat> it's very, very tasty. I got this recipe from one of those circulars those, that come, those little magazines from the market, and it comes with coupons. And honestly, the original, in my opinion, had just way too many things in it when it comes to the, the chili powder and uh, the salt, just a lot of spices. I modified it, and this is my recipe. This tastes really good. I think it came out really, really tasty. Okay, this is Southwestern Chicken Pot Pie. Okay, this is very, very tasty. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe, and I will see you next time. Mm.